about that. Hadn't had the greatest weather in the world. Tried to go fishing Monday, which was Martin Luther King's day. My dream of fishing got smashed. I was, if y'all follow me on other social media, you probably already know. But uh, I was putting the kayak in. Just almost to the lake. The lake was real low. Hadn't dragged it a long way. Broken out rigger. So, no video from that day. Fish last Saturday. Did not catch anything. No video from that. Uh, we finna do a little tips video. Like I had never done before. About fishing. Alright, we'll be back to you here in just a second. That's how I go about rigging up my big soft plastic swim baits. This one right here. That's a Smash Tech Convict. I'm going to show y'all how I go about rigging it. This is a, this one right here. That's a weightless model. I run one hook on it. And there's only one kind of hook we all know. What I run on it is a 10 all owner's beast hook. Trying to see if it's showing up. Uh, it's a 10 all owner's beast hook. I don't know if that'll show up in there or not. Got that screw lock on there. I pull my glass off where I can see and then I ain't gonna be able to see y'all. So go with it as close as we can. Alright, you take that screw lock, you find the center, you punch it in. This is all the basics that everybody ought to already know how to do. Except for me, evidently, today. But I generally do this in the boat. <laughs> you figure out where you, that hook's going to go through that. Right? going to go through right there. One thing I'm going to do before I ever get there, though. I'm going to take my pliers up. I always have pliers. When I tell you I always have pliers, I always have pliers. And I'm going to bend that hook up just a little bit, keep it straight as possible. I just brought that hook tip up just a little bit. None of this is the relevant part that I'm even showing you yet. But this is stuff you can figure out pretty easy everywhere on the internet. And then I'm going to figure out right there where I want it to come through at. I'm going to open that belly split up. Like that right there. And I'm gonna bring it up where I bent that hook. It sticks up just a little bit where you barely feel it when you rub your finger across there. Still weightless. Okay, that's that right there is not the important part. Everybody can figure that out. All right, when you're throwing it. And you're reeling it, and you, you reel this one really slow. Tail thumps, boom, boom, that's where the tracks are. Just real slow, monotonous reel. But to keep it down in the water column, because there's no weight added to it other than the bait, and this is real buoyant, floats real easy. If you don't add any weight, 
a lot of times it'll run on its side, run on its side. Oh, I had to figure out how to fix that. It was driving me nuts. And I'm going to show you. Like I say, a lot of people wrap lead tape around it to get it do like. And you can buy pre-weighted hooks, but they're generally just a little bit too heavy. I don't like the lead tape. I don't never go in any golf shop, so I have hell finding it. But I don't play golf. Imagine that. What I do, is I get these rubber core sinkers. Everybody see that? I hope it's focusing in. I can't tell. You. Get those rubber core sinkers. I pull the rubber out. These are a different brand than I usually use. You used to find these at Walmart, but last couple times I hadn't been able to find them, I had to order them. These, you're going to have to take your knife. I always got one. Alright, once you get it wide enough to get on your hook, Get on there like you want it, where you want it. Smash it down. I want it about right there where it's at. And I just take my pliers and crimp on it till I get it exactly where I want it. It won't move. Sometimes you gotta add more, sometimes you don't. <coughs> These baits differ. Let me see what size it was. That's a one eighth. I usually use a one quarter. The one quarter you usually don't have to add anymore. I might have to add another one using this smaller one. Get it down in that belly of that hook. And I keep it deeper in the water column. And it makes it run true. You want that to run right on top of the grass. If you got a lake with a lot of grass, if you can keep that right bump in the top of the grass just coming along through there, if there's any big ones down in that grass, they'll be on that. A lot of times they're just going to follow it. They follow it, pause it a little bit, let it sink, speed it up, pause it, speed it up, pause it, until they hit it. And that's generally right there, that's a, I think this is a, damn, I don't even remember what it's a big smash to. I think it's a convict. That's a 8 inch swim bait, soft plastic, been a number 10 
or 10 owners base hook. Now you can buy them base hooks pre-weighted, but they're too heavy. You won't ever keep it up out of the grass if you buy them, even the lightest ones. Just too heavy. So that's why I went and watched his video. I'll link it in the description. He might do a little better job showing you how to do it. That's how Tyler's smash tag is from their channel, the people that make this. It's a great tool to have in your tackle box. Now, but one thing I'm going to tell you bad about it. You're going to have to have at least a heavy jig rod to throw that. At least a 7.6 heavy. That's the smallest I've got away with. And it's not comfortable. Here's another one. It's a smash tech bait. I run it on a big jig head. This is for this time of the year. And early in the spring when them fish are out deep on them deep points that's a one ounce head with a seven mile hook you just throw that out there and drag it across them points just keep it tapping the bottom the whole way if they're schooled up out there getting ready to spawn that's a big meal coming through easy work they will eat it that's two of my favorite soft plastics to throw. I hope y'all got something from this video. Hope I didn't drag it out too long. I'm like say we're trying to get some fishing videos shot. It's not hardly going to bring you one. I will bring you the first kayak fishing one of the year, even if I don't catch anything. And I'm just trying to bring catch videos from now on. I'm like say I didn't film anything yesterday, not even my intro, because I hadn't even gotten the water yet. And I had a catastrophic failure. I'm glad it didn't break in the water. I'm quite sure I could get away without them outriggers now. I've figured out what you can do and what you can't do in that kayak. But uh, I wasn't trying to learn when it was 45 degrees outside and water temperature about 45. <laughs> this summer I may take them off and just see. If I do, we will film it. I'll try to have somebody on the shore filming, too. <laughs> Might be funny watching me flip again. Yeah. But y'all know what to do right here. Like, share, subscribe, and we go.